Hey guys, welcome back again. It is Ty and Matt here with Wolverine Supplies, and we're just going to be doing another update on C21. So this is the third video that we've done, so we're just going to give you a little bit of a recap of what C21 is, why it's happening, and who's doing it. And I will give that to Matt. Hey, to start off, so like Ty said, this is our third video, so if you've missed the first two, I strongly encourage you to go back. Um, they're on our website, find them, uh, review the first two, and yep. it kind of brings you up to speed with what we have today. Um, our information is coming from a variety of sources, um, from different levels of government, from uh, CS, CSAAA, the CCFR, and other organizations that have reached out and made contacts with with you, the shooting community, and with all levels of government. Mm -hmm. As everyone knows, C21 um, ha has amendments attached to it, which the biggest amendment in there is the fact that they included the whole I OIC from May of 2020 yeah. and, and added a large number of hunting rifles in there. And we've highlighted some of those before. Ruger number one, Mauser Sporter, uh, Weatherby Mark V would be some of the noticeable hunting rifles yeah. along now with SKS's, MCR's, B&T, yeah. a whole variety of other product, all those that are used in varmint hunting and everything else. There has been letters, lots of letters sent. There's been receipts from all levels of government. The NDP have reached back through and said that they don't agree with the bill, well, bill and amendments. You got to be careful on the wording there because sometimes they agree with the bill still, but they don't yes. agree with the amendments. So you got to make sure that you're reading it carefully and understanding it fully. Yeah. So just uh, so everyone's familiar, if you haven't been reading into it, C21 was started in May of 2022 as a handgun bill, along with some other details in there. Definitely read it because there's more than just firearms that are in that bill, so make sure to read all the details. But that's when it started, and this amendment only came in in November. Now, they were in their third reading, and they slapped this amendment in there, which brought in the OIC from 2020. It brought in all these hunting rifles and shotguns. There's a, a ton of Benelli uh, shotguns that were put into there that were, mm -hmm. uh, honestly, in their name, they were literally labeled as like a goose gun or a, you know, a duck gun, whatever. And be careful with that part, Benelli in particular, because they have guns listed, but these ones are exempt. Yes. Not listed, exempt, which gives another challenge down the road because like most manufacturers, Benelli, for example, where the SBE3, the Super Black Eagle 3, so if they make a Super Black Eagle 4, it won't be on the list, which means... You can would, import it. No. You can't a, do anything. Yeah, it would be prohibited. Just the way the wording is. So this wording just creates all kinds of problems and hurdles yeah. for manufacturers, distributors, importers, and the retailers, and it, you, the end customer, at the end of the day. Yeah. So, uh, like Matt had mentioned, the letters are doing, they're making a difference. You need to be ma uh, making sure to reach out to your NDP, your uh, Liberal, your Bloc, members of parliament. These are the three groups that need to be uh, aware of your voice and your concerns with this amendment and the bill in itself. There are a ton of form letters that uh, multiple organizations have put out there, but it always helps to make your own letter uh, for sure and reach out to as many people as you can because they were caught off guard with this amendment uh, kind of along with the rest of us. The Liberals never really let that slip and there has been Liberal MPs that have come out saying that they weren't uh, aware of this either and you know they're caught off guard. Uh, one good quote from the NDP member was there was brought into them on the 11th hour of this bill and they're correct. Yeah and they don't agree with it um, and as you've seen in the media there's some backpedaling going on that doesn't mean just because I've uh, the Liberals are backpedaling, we stop. We keep moving forward, we keep writing our letters, we keep sharing the information, and we, uh, we support everyone. Mm -hmm. It's uh, everyone together, we have more strength in the numbers with everyone together. Yeah. So, check out the last two videos, that's what we have today. Uh, make sure to, to keep in touch as things kind of keep progressing here, we'll make sure to keep these videos up to date. But uh, check it out. There is a page on our website dedicated to C21. So click on that. It's got a ton of information on there. There's MPs to reach out to. You can find your member of parliament on there. So tons of information. Check it out online. And honestly, we'll, we'll catch you in the, in the next update.